the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. Love God you. bless you. You know what? This is this is a I really enjoy what we talked about this morning, this Sunday session. And that's I'm gonna break it down to a sections A, B, C, D, you know, whatever it takes to, to finish it out. But I do want to make sure you remember is to subscribe. If you like the video, uh, subscribe to it. Because that's what we need to continue to show that we're doing and we're on the right track. Uh, but if you don't, I'm still going to preach the gospel. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the topic we're talking about today, the subject or the topic we're talking about today is right here. Uh, let me show it to you. I love this one because I'm trying to bring out a point. The point is right here. Uh, the descriptor or the title is down in the far head right corner. And I, I, I moved the other one as far as teaching the gospel is sure way it was written. I put that to the left now so that you can stay focused on what is your responsibility and what is the subject for the day. And this one is talking about is God. And when he said, I did not, and I guess we could change, we could change the title and say, God did not, so nobody will get uh, confused. Uh, but God said, I, I did not call you to be hateful, superior, or seek fame, glory. I didn't call you that. That's the, I don't know where you got that from. I don't know why you think that's important. Because all that said, the, 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 if you're trying to be superior, I didn't call you to be prideful. I didn't call you to be superior. I didn't call you to seek vain glory. I called you to go preach the gospel. I called you to help others receive eternal life. I gave you eternal life if you are in Christ. You have eternal life. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes him should not perish but have everlasting life. He came, he gave his son for you to have eternal life. And now some of you sit there and say, well, I don't, you, you're gonna, once you die, that's it. Then you wanna have faith in that's up to you. But also those, those of us that are believers and many others, know that we believe by faith that there's another that's eternal life. And we want to be in eternal life connected to God. That's what eternal life means. Opposed to eternal death. Disconnected from God. So this topic, and then while we're showing this, uh, this, this week is to get you to internalize what, what you need to do as a believer. You, you call to preach the good news. You call to bring people out of the dark into God's marvelous light. You call to obey the, the, the guidance that God gave or Christ gave. But then you can either go by the law, but the laws are good too. You can go by the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is, is talking about, and you wrap it up in two great commandments to love the Lord thy God with all the heart, all our mind, all that strength, and to love thy neighbors as self. And then Christ said, I gave you a new commandment in John 13, 34. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. And 35 said, and men will know that you're my disciples for the love that you have for one another. Let's love one another. And we that are believers are both to encourage people to repent. Because Christ said, I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So let's do that, amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to make comments. It helps me to understand where I'm at and what I need to do to fix things. Because I'm not perfect. I'm not even trying to be. I know who he is. That's Christ. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. I'll check you later. Bye-bye. That's the one that's important, right? Isn't it? Yeah. The, the, the showing... In other words, you're showing the opposite of what the gospel is. That's all I want to say, people. Because I, I understand you, 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 some people who took the vain glory and thinking that I, I need this to feel better. I don't know if I told you earlier, I said one of me, one of my, my co-workers said that, said the, the, this is something to make them feel better about themselves. Yeah. 
But how do you feel better being cruel, being evil? Well, I think it's it's a control thing. It's a power. It's a power thing. But uh, it's it's vain. It's what the the devil showed Christ. Yeah. He said, "I'm gonna give all this glory." And then, see, and the, the crazy thing is, this nation, the United States, they act like Christianity started here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that, uh, mm. so that it was, it was okay. Mm. That, that, that's, that's, that's the crazy part about it. It's like, we we were Christians here before going over there. Wow! Bef and, and we brought them here to Christianity. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yes, sir. So that 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 is so uh, warped that you would think that the that Christianity started here in the U.S. and not over there. Yeah. You know, so you're taking people of the cradle of civilization mm -hmm. the, 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 the cradle of Christianity yes sir where this came from and you're bringing them to a place that it was stolen and brought to mm -hmm. and saying that you're you're changing these people from what they were to what you want them to be which is something that doesn't exist in the kingdom of heaven to begin with. So that that is that is a a that is a demonic uh, uh, way of, of thinking, way of being. That is that is what was offered to Yeshua on on that uh, mountain. Wow. That is, man, that is, it just, and then like I said, it didn't use it as a weapon to control people still, right? Today. Yeah. The, 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 and I'm talking about now, they don't use the, the, at least the ones we don't know about, the, that type of cruelty, even though we know we got sex slaves out here. Hell, we oh, it's got, going on still. We got, yeah, you know, it's on the ground. Yeah. You, you have people that are coming up missing. Missing. And, uh, yeah. People think that this is just sex slaves. Yeah. That's that's pretty much a cover as far as I'm concerned. These people are being abducted for organs. Mm. You know, uh, for for slavery, no different than it was before. Yeah. And for and for for sex. But I think a majority of this is to is for the organ organ uh harvesting Ooh. and look and, and i would be i wouldn't be surprised if they i saw one of the star trek shows and just said that they they were taking the organs out while the person's alive no anesthesia yeah. no they just just hey look they probably said it's more effective you take it just take it while it's beating them you yeah. know what I mean? yeah you know uh very little anesthesia Woo. probably cost money yeah, anything. Yeah. They, they, and, and they may not even get any. Man, mm -hmm. You know, they might just cut them open, restrain them, hold them down, cut them open. Or, they know or, they did, yeah. Or yeah. knock them out, cut them open. You but know, one of the one of the things they used to do back in the mid, they said in the medieval days, and stuff, they would, like Braveheart, you know, Braveheart. Yeah. They'll take your organs out while you're alive. Yeah. So we, we came to this and they won't do it. The, the, the father of uh, gynecology or whatever that thing is. That oh my God, that dude they, right there, man. He, he did it. He, he talking about didn't got no the same no one. What was that? Sixteen times performed yeah. surgery on her. Yeah, and then killed and then mutilated her. Yeah, it says she could and look. She could take the pain. Yeah, they they could take pain. And they then once he perfected the the surgery, then he offers it to Caucasian women with anesthesia. Cause they can they they can't take the pain as these other people can take the pain. That's just so 
It's so demonic. And you ask the people, say, how come you think, and then you go to church and you say, then you, you, because you don't say nothing about it. And then you got the audacity. Here's a good example. You talk about abortion as if you care about life. Yeah. But when other people's lives are at risk, other people are getting inhumane treatment, prison systems that are that's really hell on earth, right? And mass incarceration, everything else, and you sit there and you go to church and say, Praise the Lord. I'm a believer. I'm a saint. And then, like you said, the one that called us out, you saved. Look at this right here. Did, did, look what the scripture says. And yet, these people, otherwise, we're doing this system, some of the father's system, a great father's system. And when the church is silent, the church will speak out against those things. It's, it's, you're basically endorsing it. The weapon system. Look at this when he uses a weapon. Because it's not saying to use a weapon. This is the scripture saying it's not a weapon, but people use it. Let me do right here. 325. Yeah. But after that faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. And yet people still do the schoolmaster, don't they? Yeah. Think and, about it. And what, what, what he's talking about, you're, you're not under a priest. Yeah. Yeah. You're not under the law. You know, the veil, the veil has been has been torn. Yes, sir. You're not under the law. Freely. You're free. Yeah. Freely go to the Father. Come and on. Get, get firsthand information. Ooh, that, I like what you said. Yeah. There you go. Get the, the, get, the, the word is hidden in your heart. Mm. But the word is, the optimal thing, is, it is hidden. You got to go seek it out. Come on. Come on. You got to <laughs> seek it out. You just Deep. can't leave it hidden in there. <laughs> it says, for ye are all the children of God by faith in, in Yeshua Amashek. But, but obviously we do opposite, right? Because we yeah. said, you all are children of God. Yeah. But see, I manipulate you, I'm going to slave you, I'm going to beat you, I'm going to hurt you, I'm going to discriminate against you. Matter of fact, you're not, you're, you're three, three-fifths of a human. Wow. So hey, matter of fact, look. you any way we want. Well, matter of fact, let's go back to the scripture we read earlier. What it says is that when the Pharisees saw the children of Israel. Yeah. And what they say? Why are you in there with them? Why are you over there with them? Come on now, brother. This is saying, y'all all supposed to be together. Y'all all supposed to be the children of God, right? Yeah, I bet you. <laughs> your shoe is probably, why aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Exactly. When he said that, I think he said it in one of the scriptures. When he said that, said, I came over the eyes, right? When yeah. he told that man it was uh, blind. And oh, he, yeah. said, he met him. He said, I came over the eyes and I was uh, blind. And one of the Sadducees of scribes and the master, you said we <laughs> we're blind. <laughs> and he said, if you if you were blind, you, you would not have seen you know, that I can relate to you. I can work yeah. with you. <laughs> Woo! Look, see, see I'm saying this this is all opposite of what some of these people do that call themselves Christians, right? You here you said you're all the children of God. By faith, right? In Christ. That's that's part of the gospel message what I'm trying to say. Right? So what the rest of it say? It says, for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ, I'm a shit, have put on Christ. Put on Christ. So so I, how how have you said so I mean anybody put anybody to say you still discriminate against them? Yeah. So you mean you discriminate against Christ? You still lynch them? You still? Yeah. Are you tracking with you? See the words are coming out about. Yeah. My, my Man, fact. That's, that's that's heavy there. That is it. My fact. If you think about it, you go a little step further. We're all made in the image and the likeness of God. Which is another just. reason why they didn't want to baptize slaves or 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 allow them to become Christian. Hmm. Because yes, they so knew that to do that, they could not make them slaves, or, mm -hmm. or they'd have to honor them as being human. When you read your book and the staff, they talk about that too. Yeah, they that's what I, that. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, they 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 wrote letters. What am I supposed to do? What am I going to heaven? What? 
<laughs> if they're gonna be in heaven with me, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. That's heavy there. That was heavy, but they asked a the question. It was a legitimate question. Yeah. It's like, if I get to heaven, are they gonna be there with me? And they, and they lied to a person, didn't they? That, yeah. That's a person that, see, I'm saying is equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. That's an example of not equipping the saints to do the yeah. work of the ministry. Yeah. They told the word about it. Yeah. Well, it was, like I said, it was all about white superiority and and money. It's about, it was about money. Yeah. And, and so to keep that established, mm -hmm. they had to come up with all different kind of ways to explain away. Yes, sir. To to ease the conscience. Because yes. what you what you really saw in that based on that he talked about the book stand from the beginning is the fact is that there were people conscious of what was happening. You know what I mean? There were some levels of conviction. If they were in Christ, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. If you were in Christ, you had some, you should have had some level of consciousness, some level of love. Yeah. That's what a better word, right? Love, right? Yeah. He said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. What? Oh. Not only that. <laughs> what? Oh. Good, that go mean, ahead. That means that mean you don't love me. <laughs> yeah. Everything that you did tells me you don't love me. Me. Just like you know the scripture that says not everybody who go to enter the kingdom of heaven, uh, yeah. except for those who not everybody who says Lord Lord is into the kingdom, except for those who do the will of my Father. Yeah. Which most pastors are to teach people say, look, I, 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 I want to make sure that my blood, the blood is off my hand. Not everybody that says Lord Lord is entered to the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of the Father. I think you need to focus on doing the will of the Father if you want to get into the kingdom. And I don't care whether you got these rich people or these other crazy people that want you to hate people, beat people, torture people. If you want to get into the kingdom, you need to do not the will of a slave master, not the will of a, you know, a hater, not the will of the KKK, anybody. you need to, not the will of your political party. You need to do the will of the Father. Even Christ was demonstrating that, didn't he, brother? In the Garden of Gethsemane. Which really brings us back to uh, the saying of, of Yeshua when he said, how hard it is how hard it for is. someone rich to enter into the kingdom of heaven. They can't, you, they can't let go of their riches to mm. enter into the door. Mm. Ooh. So how many people have been, and now we're talking about the water fountain factory. We're talking about the people who sit there and, and fighting the poor people. I'm talking about poor people. Fighting to maintain a status. Not even getting more money in your pocket. And now putting your soul in jeopardy for eternal death. Convinced, brother Adam, you see the magnitude of what we talk about? Yeah. They convince of generations of people to die and die and sin for a status that is vain glory. That's why I put the three temp last three temptations of Christ in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I did it. So you can sit there and say, is it worth it? Is it worth Dying, knowing you, because to me, can you say, how do you not know, how do you not know that you, how, how do you do that, brother? How do you, can, maybe you can answer. I, I know I'm not thinking you can answer it, but maybe you can <laughs> give me some type of your perspective. How can you even think you're going to heaven and have that type of hate embedded in your psyche? Because they're going to sit there and tell you, you fear, you fear man. What's the end of one of the scriptures in the Bible said, don't fear the person that killed the body. Yeah. But fear the person who cast your soul into hell. Yeah. Woo. Hmm. Yeah, that's something there. Oh, that's a big one. 
Are they preaching this stuff in church? Are they read? Are people reading this stuff in the Bible? Well, are they teaching this? Stuff? You gotta remember, a lot of people don't didn't read, and just like the Pharisee, Sadducees and the Pharisees, people weren't they didn't have access to these words. Mm -hmm. You know, they, and they were only receiving, just like in the church today, what the pastors are saying. Then I'm going to read it for the study. Yeah, they, they took it for for the gospel for, or, or words from from God. And uh, hmm. and so they're deceived. And, and they just go with the deception, not knowing, some not knowing any better uh, by, by in the beginning. But everyone's heart has to Come on. recognize the evil that's going forth. Ooh. And then there is a choice that is made to accept it or to go against it. Think, think about it. Would you say it right? In other words, you either you 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 basically deny the gospel yourself. Yeah. And like you said, those who couldn't read, they would depend on these people who can read. And I was thinking, read because somebody made a false, uh, what do you call it, a black Bible, a slave Bible? Yeah. Somebody could read. And look, yeah. matter of fact, somebody could read enough to take out the stuff that was important. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, they, they didn't teach the poor white people to read. To, no, keep, them, to keep them in bondage. Wow. To keep them in, at bay. That far, that goes that scripture that my people struggle for the lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Not to say that those did. were his people. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, but, I look, I, I'm going to find a racial creation great all of us. That's the point I'm saying. You know, I, I, and, and don't get me wrong. This goes a, across all nationality. Yes, sir. Yes, White, sir. black, Hispanic, mm. uh, Asian, all fall privy mm. to this. Mm and are found wanting yes sir because when you choose riches it is so hard mm. to see past that mm. that uh, 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 mm. Mm. The, the riches you, you you can't see past you like like jefferson mm -hmm. knowing that this is wrong, but for the sake of maintaining a status, go with the flow. Mm. Mm -hmm. now, I think because, he claimed he'd be an atheist, though, I think, right? Yeah. He was, he was not even a Christian. Well, I think he, he, he claimed that because he knew what, <laughs> what it entailed. You know what it is? That, you say it again, please? I don't think people caught that. He okay. knew. Actually, he knew the cost of being a Christian. Mm. And so in, in, in knowing, he decided to say that he was an atheist mm. so he, he could live the life that he wanted, being a hypocrite. Mm. Uh, uh, who faced it? Mm. Because his lifestyle mm. was dependent upon him being an atheist. You run that plantation. Yeah. He had to. He, yeah. he, he It was his only means of holding on to the status that he had. Because mm. without that, he couldn't even pay the bills that he had incurred. Yes, sir. That, wow. And, and as long as he was paying on those, on the debt, he was able to live the life that he was living. Mm. So without the slaves, he wouldn't have been able to pay his debt and he would have lost mm. everything. He would have lost all his yeah. land, mm. all the the, the 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 favor, the status. He, mm. he would have lost it all. So the only way he could keep that, and which is crazy, was through slavery. He, he, yeah. he wouldn't be if it wasn't for people of color. Yeah, that what they're talking about. And, 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 and the crazy thing about it, even more so, they were the ones caring for him at his deathbed. Yes, sir. Everyone else was gone. Right. 
that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. The ironic piece of it, right? David used them to raise their children. Uh, you know what I mean? They raised their children. Yeah. Uh, they they cooked their food. And they breastfed the kids. Ooh. They, they gave them, they gave them, <laughs> they, them kids got our DNA. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow. Yeah, they would. It, it, it's a, it's, it's, it's just so, it's weird. It is outright weird to, to convince people to do that. And, and rich people knew that this was wrong. The poet, but, but don't get the poet. We knew it. This was something that blew my and, and not that I didn't know it, but, but just, just hearing you put in such um, the phrases that they did, but knowing that these people were raping these women and having these mulatto kids and still enslaving them. Yes, sir. They denied uh, their, their children. Some cases, some cases they didn't yeah. recognize their, their children. Yeah. They, they knew they were their child. They knew. They knew. But not being hateful. You're not called to be hateful. You're called to be the good news. You're not called to be superior. You're called to be children of God. And if that in itself is superior, then you call calling others to be as well. It's not something that's only isolated for a selected few who can own. Because matter of fact, you think about it, if we deal with black superiority or white superiority or brown superiority or, or Jew superiority or any of those superiorities, those things are all perishing. And then you have to go and meet God. And you're all accountable to God. So let's do the right thing. Let's learn to love one another. You're not called to be hateful. You're not called to be superior. You're not called to seek vain glory. You're called to preach the gospel. And you, and most of you who claim to be Christians are really making it a challenge for those who want to preach the gospel. Because the history of those who proclaim their Christians, but we're not. Because the tree is known by its fruit. You are trying to tell people that we're evil, we're hateful, we're, we're judgmental, and we want to keep you out, opposed to bringing you in. We're supposed to bring in the world, saints, if you are in Christ. But for you that's not in Christ, God is saying, I want you. And it doesn't matter how low you go, I want you to repent and come toward him. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.